you open. Callan, check your spot. Camera four, check your focus. Carol, make sure the phone guests are standing by. Okay, Don, we're ready out here. Okay, thanks. Let's rock and roll. Count them in. Ten. Nine. Here we go. Eight. Flying graphic. Seven. Camera six, two, I'm going to be coming to you five, first. Stand by to cue mark. Four. Three. Two. And cue mark. In Oxford, doctors have found, they're doing research into pain, found that newborn babies experience pain at a higher level than adults. Now, years ago, there was a study that showed unborn babies, even as early as eight or 10 weeks, experience pain at a higher level than adults because of the way the nerve receptors mm -hmm. are, are formed at that point. Well, now we've got this study coming out, and they've actually, actually shown how the, the brain waves function in these, in these newborn babies, the babies mm -hmm. that are just hours old, and how they respond to pain. Now, the pro-aborts will say there's no evidence that unborn children feel pain. So in other words, when we rip their arms and legs off and crush their skulls mm -hmm. and everything, oh, they're fine. What's the difference? They're fine. Don't worry right. about it. Um, they, don't, they don't experience any kind of pain, which we know is nonsense. But here's my question then. If we can now demonstrate that a newborn baby, just a, few, a couple hours old, <clears throat> feels pain at a higher level than an adult, did that magically occur as that baby was ex exiting the birth canal? Hmm. Or, is it, or do we now know, if we have irrefutable evidence then, that this bright line that these, guy, these guys draw at the moment of birth doesn't exist? That if you move them back in, into the womb, mm -hmm. they feel pain. Either that, or you've got you've to make this argument about the birth canal being some sort of mystical place where all kinds of things happen in that few seconds that that baby's in that birth canal, all of a sudden now it starts feeling pain. Mm. That's nonsense. No rational person could possibly believe that. Right. I mean, I think I do have a magical birth canal. I'm just gonna, I have some who are pretty amazing kids, so maybe I do, but I would say. Well, wait a minute, were the they point... amazing before they went through the birth canal or is that, that what did it? I think it's just, I, yeah, oh, okay. I think the I grew them, I grew them that way, but I will say that <laughs> the interesting thing to me is, if this is true, if they really don't feel any pain, then let us document a lot of your sonograms, you know, as you're doing the sonogram while you're doing abortions, because we've seen multiple sonogram videos where the child, a tiny, you know, eight to 12 week is moving away from Pushing the suction. The if they away. can't right. even feel the suction, how do they know to move away from, you know, the cure? How do they know? Well, and you know, not only that, but the fetal pain researchers will tell you one of the, one of the determinative things here is it's a full body response. Yeah. It, and when the doctor hits your knee with a reflex reaction, it's just your lower leg that moves. These babies, when they're moving away from a painful stimulus, are, are giving a full body mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. and, and that indicates, you know, all those, those mechanisms for feeling pain, the receptors on the skin to the nerves and, and the spinal cord up to the brain are, are in place and are working. Unfortunately, again, we're out of time, but don't ever forget, Life Dynamics is not here to put up a good fight. We're here to win, because winning is how this killing is going to stop. We'll see you next month.